Today we're up in Coldwater Canyon Creek, which is north of San Diego in the Santa Ana River watershed. Coldwater Canyon Creek is really special because it's one of two places that are left in Southern California where native rainbow trout of steelhead lineage still exist. And about two years ago, there was a really intense fire here and it burned through this canyon very quickly. Unfortunately, back in 2018 in July, uh, we had the Holy Fire, which burned through the entire canyon. About 80% of the habitat was burned. We lost most of our canopy. Um, the drought had killed a lot of the trees before that, so the fire just added to that. Although much of the vegetation was gone, the agencies came together and they rescued the trout out before the rains came and washed through their habitat. In August of 2018, just a month after the fire, we worked with the department to pull the remaining fish out of here because we knew that that winter we were going to have debris flow. We've seen floods of, of 200 to 300 CFS in here in a normal year without a fire. So we were worried about debris flows of 1,000, 2,000 CFS coming down the canyon. So we knew the fish probably wouldn't be able to survive that. So with help from the department and their approval, we worked on getting as many fish out of here as we could. For me, the decision to rescue those fish wasn't really a decision, it was more like, how are we gonna be successful? How can we do this? We have an obligation to the resource and we have an obligation to keep those unique endemic native species on the landscape. The importance of that population was not necessarily like how far it is in the range, just that it's the last known native rainbow trout within the Santa Ana River system. That to me was the important trigger. 32 inches of rain, in 2019 and about 22 inches of rain in uh, 2020. And that took out a lot of the sediment and the ash and um, burn material in a couple of events. And so we had a recovery that may have taken five or six years occur in two or three years. The recovery of the canyon was so quick, we wanted to get them back as soon as we could because that circuit stream is very small. They were brought back here in November of 2020, and so this will be our first year we get a spawn, and we're hoping to get a pretty good result out of that, and then we'll see how well the fish disperse up and down the habitat and do an assessment this fall uh, to see how well they've reproduced. Earnest effort began in about 2010, 2011, when we worked with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, and we had a couple of the environmental scientists come out with us because we had determined that the fish kind of had a unique physiology and that we wanted to see if they were a distinct population and turned out to be true. And this is probably the two populations of the most uh, southerly um, range of the species and are still here. And that's why it's critical for us to maintain the, the property and the uh, habitat so that they can maintain that distinctiveness. We've been doing water quality monitoring here at Coldwater for many years. We look at the dissolved oxygen levels, pH, salinity, total dissolved solids, as well as temperature. We try to take as much useful data as we can that can be extrapolated so that we can know in other areas that we can potentially say, hey, when fires come through, we know we get the fire chasing species of invasives. You know you have debris flow. You know how those issues you're going to face. And with this creek, it is kind of a control or experiment to where we'll be able to say, hey, after a certain amount of time, we've been monitoring, we've been collecting data, water quality, we've been doing uh, exotic and non-native vegetation removal. And all those things together are going to help the system and hopefully we can extrapolate through that to see that that can be applied to systems in Southern California, Central California, and maybe even in Northern California.